Today we are going to discuss squamous papilloma. As the words suggest, squamous and papilloma. Papilloma means finger-like projections and squamous means is indicative of squam-like cells. So it is a benign tumor of epithelial tissue origin. Going with the definition, we can say that it is benign proliferation of stratified squamous epithelium resulting in a papillary or a viruciform mass. Clinical features This lesion is common in middle aged caused by human papilloma virus HPV 6 and HPV 11 are common causative agents Going with the sex predilection the lesion is common in both the males and the females Squamous papilloma has a low virulence rate and is non-contagious when compared with its look-alike form Verica vulgaris which is contagious frequently occurs in skin whereas the squamous papilloma occurs in tongue, lips, buccal mucosa, gingiva and palate. Patient clinically presents with a papilloma with which is an exophytic growth made up of numerous small finger-like projections resulting in a lesion which is roughened, varicose or cauliflower-like. This is a well-circumscribed at a pedunculated tumor which is painless, mostly white in color, sometimes it may be pink. If white in color, the lesion must be hard in consistency and pink in color it will be soft in consistency histologically many long thin finger like projections may be seen extending above the surface of the mucosa which is made up of continuous layer of stratified squamous epithelium and contains a thin connective tissue core there may be presence of coleocytes which are Human papilloma virus altered epithelial cells with perinuclear spaces and nuclear pycnosis. Treatment of the papilloma consists of excision including the base of the mucosa into which the pedicle or the stalk inserts. Removal should never be accomplished by an incision through the pedicle. If the tumor is properly excised, recurrence is rare.